Hi everyone, it's Jessica and I'm back with another haul video. Today I've got five different Etsy shops that I've ordered from recently. So as usual, I'll start with the ones that are new to me. And I will start with Odd Loop here. I think most people can probably recognize Odd Loop's very, very distinctive packaging. It's just, it's just really gorgeous. Um, I love this and I just love little touches like that. But I did place a pretty big order with her. So actually what happened with this is that she was selling a couple misfit kits and I was lucky enough to grab quite a few of them. So I'm really happy. I got most of the sets I had actually already been eyeing from her shop. Um, yeah, so I'll just go through them really quickly, but I'll zoom in a little bit first. All right, so right on top you get a little freebie where she just has their version of emoticons. And in case anyone doesn't know, Odd Loop is run by Jesse and Ricky. So Jesse's more, I think, manages the business side of things and Ricky does all the graphic design. So all of this is completely unique to their shop, which I love, I love that. Um, I think it just makes it a little bit more special. So you do get um, a little freebie sheet here. And then actually she threw these three sheets in. I didn't order these. So yeah, I think she just threw them in, which was really, really nice. And I definitely appreciate it. She's got little coffee cups here, little workout stickers, and then little scales for, you know, if you want to weigh yourself. And as you can see, they're just very, very distinctive designs and very bright colors. So I love that. So I actually wound up ordering five kits from her. Um, so I'll just go through the first one. Most of her kits are formatted more or less the same. So I'll just go through the first one and just flip through the rest of them. So this is her New York kit and I love her travel series. I just, I love the idea of using the entire spread or even like two or three full boxes to complete a picture which is why I love um, some of Crest Press's kits because she has kits that do that too. I just love that. So I'm really excited, um, but this is the New York kit. You do get some headers, some blank headers, and each of these strips that's in the middle actually has a cutout section too. And this one peels back pretty well. It's a little bit of a struggle, but I mean, nothing that's going to impede you being able to use the stickers. And then this strip that says a loop is also a little header size as well. So then you get the weekend banner and then some deco items. The next sheet you get the checklist, some teardrops, some page flags, as well as some of the icons. And then you get the half boxes. Here are the little things. Like it's just so cool that even down to these little icons, they designed themselves. They didn't just go on like flaticon.com and take an icon. Um, and then these are washi strips actually up here and then little label stickers here. And then here are the full boxes, which this is gorgeous. Like the color on this is just stunning. And then the full boxes. So I think that's just so, so pretty. And I think I'm gonna have to plan a trip to New York just so I can use this kit. Um, I'm trying to think what's better. I might zoom out a little bit. I don't know if that might be better, we'll see. So I'll just like, flip through the rest of them. The next one is the Marvel, I don't know if it's just the Marvel kit or if it's actually like the Marvel Avengers kit, but it has Spider-Man in it, so I don't know. But here is the checklist sheet, the headers. Um, these really, really cool full boxes here. I think these are so cute. I like the Bazinga too, that's really cute. The little things the washi, you've got just again, such stunning color saturation here. This is gorgeous. And the full boxes, which are so, so cute. And I'll bring this up close a little bit. Actually, I'll do that towards the end. But what I was going to say is that with this being the Misfit kit, this was just a great deal. Um, she was selling these for, I believe it was $10.95 for a set when usually they're priced at $19.95, which honestly $19.95 is a pretty fair price as it is, especially considering how much work they put into to create everything from scratch. Like I think that's a really fair price to begin with. But yeah, $10.95 was just a freaking steal. So I was quite greedy and I snapped up quite a lot of them as you can see. Um, here is the London, sorry, that was the Monsters Inc. kit and this is the 
Paris kit, not the London kit. Um, but yeah, so I snapped up quite a few of them. There is one more set I do want from her, so I'm probably going to order that one just whenever I get the chance. Um, but yeah, I really love these stickers. I've been waiting for a while to get them, and I'm just really lucky that I managed to catch it when she was doing Misfits. Um, they sell out really, really quickly, so that's kind of one bad thing is that they do tend to sell out really fast. I saw a lot of comments from people saying that, you know, some sets disappeared from their cart. So it does happen, but yeah, I think it was a great deal. And so with these being misfits, she does put in the description box that there may be um, some color differences. There may be some cut lines that are a little bit off. She also mentioned that some of these are on paper that they just wanted to test out, but wound up not liking enough to use in their actual shop. So all of these feel like they're on the same paper. I'm not entirely sure if this is the amazing odd loop paper that everyone talks about. It feels really, really nice and smooth to me. It actually feels kind of more like a satin. It's not quite a vinyl, but it does feel like a satin, which I don't really know too much about paper types. I'm just comparing it to some of the other stickers I've ordered and gauging how they feel compared to this. But it does still feel really nice and smooth to me. So I don't know if this is the actual paper that they went with or if this was one of their test papers that they decided against. And then the other thing, as far as, I mean, I think the color here is really, really good. Again, I don't know if maybe they just, it wasn't up to par, so that's why some of these wound up in the Misfit kits. Um, for the most part, I really didn't notice any issues with any of these stickers, really. Um, there were a couple where the cut lines were maybe just like a smidge like off. So I can, let me find one and I can zoom you guys in. So here's an example. All right, so I pulled out a couple examples of like these really, really tiny little details that I think might have been why some of these sheets wound up in the Misfit set. So this one, you can see some of those little corners are not cut quite perfectly. Um, this one, same thing, just these top two headers are cut just a tiny bit off. And with this one, I don't know if this is intentional. I think the camera can pick it up, but you can see there's just some like they almost look like striations here, so I don't know if maybe this is more like the color issue that she kind of warns you about that they weren't completely happy with. And then here, there's just a tiny little smudge on one of the boxes. So I point that out not to like nitpick, but just to show you if anyone was hesitating about buying Misfit bags because they're worried about the quality. Like these stickers are still in near perfect quality in my mind. Like this is still completely usable. I can put it down and I am not going to notice any of these tiny little differences. So again, I think her Misfit bags are definitely worth it. If you can get your hands on one, I highly recommend you do because they're just such a great deal. These stickers are still just gorgeous. And I looked through most of them. Like I could barely find anything wrong with these sheets. So needless to say, I'm so, so happy with these stickers. Like, I'm just so happy. And I'm really excited to use them. Um, all right, so moving on, I'll move on to Clever Gal Crafts next. And this is another shop that I've been wanting to order from for a while. You can see, sorry, let me refocus here. So you can see she also packages her stickers up really, really nice and cute uh, in this little paper bag here. And she does include an invoice with your order too. So that's also nice. And I just wanted to, I just saved this to show you because you can see, let me zoom in a little bit now. She includes some of her stickers and I actually really want this sticker now because it looks so pretty in person. And her signature is gorgeous too. Like I wish I could make my signature, you know, really pretty with the swirls, but I just can't. So here is her little freebie, which comes in its own little bag, which is cute. So that's really pretty. And I stuck with mostly her foiled stickers. Actually, all I got were her foiled stickers. Um, her kits are also really pretty, but these were the ones that I really, really wanted. And I did see 
the planner sophisticate using her foiled heart stickers to mark her work days which i really like that idea i like the idea of having some sort of continuity throughout all your spreads so that no matter what spread I'm looking at, if I see that sticker, I know what it is. So I think I'm gonna take a page out of her book and do that too for my work days. I also got a couple of her page flags as well. So as always, she does include this thin little um, tissue paper to protect the foiling. So this one, I can't remember the exact names of these stickers. Um, she does have a lot of options. So even if you don't like pastel colors or something like that, she has a lot of different options. I believe this is the, is this poolside? No. I think this is the Millie palette because this is the only one that I got in rose gold foil. You can choose between gold, rose gold, and silver. Sorry, I'm getting so excited that I'm starting to stumble over my words, but it's just so pretty. It catches the light so well. I don't think the camera is going to do it any justice, but I promise you it looks gorgeous in person. Like, it's so pretty, and this is on glossy paper too. So yeah, so that's the page flag, and I did get the hearts that go with it, just the regular silver foil hearts. Is this rose gold? Yes, yes it is. So this is definitely still rose gold. And then I also got the, I think this is poolside now. So I got slightly brighter colors and I got this with the gold foil. And I'll show you a comparison between the gold and the rose gold. They do look pretty similar. Um, and again, it's the same color scheme as the page flags, but just in the hearts. And just to compare, so here's rose gold and here's gold. It looks pretty similar on camera. The rose gold is just a little bit more warm toned. And I didn't get any silver this time around just because I generally like the warmness of gold, especially um, in my spreads a little bit better. So then this one, I don't remember which of the last two is which. Um, so I don't really remember the name, but these are just some brighter colors. And again, I did get this in the gold foil. The last one is more kind of the jewel tone colors. So we got some nice dark blues and some dark purples. And again, I did get this in gold. So I'm really, really happy with this order. It just, these stickers really are stunning. So I'm really excited to use them. And actually I already picked out which one. I think I'm gonna use this one next week for my first week of work because I already know which <laughs> kit I'm going to use. So I'm excited to use these. And then the last new shop to me, which, where did I put her stickers? All right, it actually took a while to find these stickers. I like lost them in the pile that I had going. So this is from Planet Southern. So I'll cover up my address there, but that's the name. And of course I'll leave the link down below. But this is a shop that I actually haven't really heard anyone talk about, but I found it and the prices are just insanely cheap. So I was kind of skeptical, but I'm really glad I placed the order because this is actually really, really good quality. So here is the freebie that she has. And so just to tell you guys, her stickers start at $1 for matte stickers. Yeah, it's a dollar for a sheet of stickers, which is, that's the cheapest that I've seen any Etsy shop order. And these are pretty good size. Like these aren't teeny tiny sticker sheets either. They're like about the size of your hand really. And you get a ton of stickers on here. So they start at dollar for matte. She also does offer glossy for a dollar fifty. She also has something called transparent matte, I think. So I think maybe instead of the white, it's just like a transparent background. So some people might like that and that's also priced at $1.50. I got these satin sheets because she said in her little notes section that this like took up color so well and it really does. Like these colors show up really, really vibrant on like on person or in person, I mean. So these are $1.75 a sheet, which is still really, really cheap. Like it's very rare that I find a shop that offers stickers for such low prices. And on top of that, because I ordered during 4th of July, I actually got, I think it was 40% off. Yeah, 40% off all of this. So yeah, it's just, I'm blown away by the quality of these stickers. I was really, really nervous because sometimes when you buy from shops that are maybe a little bit on the cheap side, you get what you pay for and it shows in the quality, but this is actually like incredible. So first of all, you do get a very generous sampler. You have some of these cute little emoji stickers, some nice labels, and just some nice little like school related stickers here. 
And then, so I ordered, so she has three different sizes for her sticker sheets. So this one, I don't know what she calls it exactly, but it is larger than your average icon. So I just got some mixers here. And then she also, the two main sizes I ordered are the mini con size and then her regular icon size. So generally her icon sizes are about half an inch at the widest point and her mini con sizes are about 0.3 inches at the widest point. Obviously some of them will be a little bit different depending on how the actual icon looks, but she always lists the sizes in the description, which I found really helpful because otherwise like you really have no frame of reference for which one you want to order. So I got running shoes in both because I thought that maybe I could use the mini con in my personal planner and it would work better, but these are truly teeny tiny. And actually, like honestly, the icon sizes will work just fine in my personal size planner. But these little mini ones, I mean, these are teeny tiny, but they are really, really cute. And let's see, these cut lines are pretty good. Like it peels up pretty easily. I was playing around with some of the other sticker sheets. I think it was the laundry one, but some of them have that issue where um, they're cut a little bit too deep so that the backing starts to peel up too. Again, not a huge issue. At least I don't find it that annoying especially since these were for icon stickers too. If I got a kit that was like that, it might be a little bit more annoying just because you have to work with it so many times like that day. But um, yeah, this is perfectly fine. So I got those and then I got some prescription bottles too. And actually the other good thing that I really like about this shop is that she is able to kind of customize your order to a certain extent. She's at least open to you asking. So the ones that she offered, because she didn't offer these in the mini con size, I think they would have been just way too small if they were offered in mini con. But I, she, the ones she offered were, I think it was 0.6 inches in height. And I wanted them to go more in my to-do boxes is this in focus? Okay, just wanted to refocus that, but I wanted these to go more in my to-do boxes, so I wanted them a little bit smaller, so I've asked if she could make them maybe closer to about 0.45, even 0.4 would have been fine, so she was able to do that. So I really appreciate that she was able to accommodate the special requests like that. I also got these laundry baskets in the mini con size and then the laundry machines in the regular icon size because I mean in reality your laundry basket's much smaller than your machine. And I just want to point out like look at the saturation on these black laundry machines. Like I'm just so impressed by the color saturation. Actually I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more. So hopefully that gives you a good idea but you can see how nicely the color comes off on these sheets. So I'm really impressed by that. And then I got a couple cleaning ones too because I really didn't have any of these. So I got just some of these spray bottles. I got vacuums. And again, hers are really, really customizable. You, I ordered all the variety ones because I like to have a variety of colors, but if you want just one color, you can do that too. Um, here are the nail polish ones and then I also ordered the these laundry stickers in two different sizes as well so you can see the size difference between the mini con and her regular icon so these will probably look pretty good in the happy planner or the Erin Condren again I had originally ordered this to go in my personal planner but this is like really really small which that was I mean I should have just whipped out my ruler and kind of measured and I'll probably I might still use this in my personal planner, but I don't know. I still think these would be just fine if you're more the personal planner type. So again, I did order this in satin, which her paper feels a lot like Paper Dove Shop. And again, it also feels very similar to Odd Loop in the sense that like it's not a vinyl, it's still like a matte paper, but it's super, super smooth. So I don't know for sure if this is the same paper. It kind of feels like the same paper and it's about the same thickness. But yeah, like the quality is just amazing. I definitely recommend checking her out. I'll definitely be eyeing her shop as she adds more things to it because I'm definitely ordering more from her. Like this is just such a great deal. But yeah, I have not found another shop that is first of all such cheap prices, but also like such great quality for the cheap prices. So really, really happy about that. And then the last two shops I order from are repeats. So I did make another order from a Fox and Pip. Um, I just love her little hand-drawn stickers. So as usual, you have a 
Happy Mail, or not a Happy Mail, you have a freebie sheet with some Happy Mail stickers, a unicorn, a banner, and drinks, as well as a present. And I ordered this right before she closed to rebrand. So some of her stickers look just a little bit different. She changed up the branding. She changed up maybe just how many stickers you got in a sheet. I believe she said some of the sizing she changed a little bit. But um, yeah, and she also made a lot of new releases too, which I really want to get my hands on. She has one with the girl hugging a burrito and she calls it her bay Rito sticker. So I thought that was really cute. But um, for this order, because I placed it right before she did all the rebranding and the new releases, um, I just picked up a couple sheets that I either didn't have yet or I wanted extras of. So the first one I got was this little girl wearing a right meow shirt, as well as little cat ears. I also got her a little music festival girl, which I'm not big on going to music festivals, but I thought the girl was cute, so I wanted it. I got her um, Target girl, because I already have this in the dark hair, but her skin tone is a little bit dark too. And I know even though on camera, like my hands look really dark because I tan easily in the summer, like my face is actually still pretty pale because I'm really religious about putting on sunscreen. So um, I wanted something with like maybe a little bit of a lighter skin tone and I have black hair, so I was just gonna take a black color pencil and color in her hair and see how that looks. And then I also got her So Fancy Girl, which is just, it's just really cute. Like her little smirk just gets me. And then I picked up her coffee stickers. It's like coffee, but also she threw in some of these like little vases and some donuts, so that was really cute. I picked up another sheet of her Megan stickers. I just, this is still my favorite out of all the ones she has. It's still my favorite. I just think it, she's so pretty. And with the white dress, you can color it in really nicely too. And then I also picked up a couple more of her, um, I don't know what she calls this, but it's, I just picked up two more sheets of the girl with like throwing money up in the air. I figured since with my job, I only get paid once a month. So I could maybe just use this um, to denote my paydays because that'll be really exciting especially since it only happens once a month too so that is everything I have from Fox and Pip for now and then the very last shop I have here is Blank Slate Stickers which if you've seen any of my other hauls you know I have made quite a few orders I believe these were my fourth and fifth orders from this shop um, yeah, and I was actually able to combine them because she hadn't shipped out my other order yet. So as usual, you do get a freebie, a very functional freebie here, which I always save those. And I got a total of four kits. So they are all formatted the same. Um, the first page is some checklists. You get your washi bits, um, you get some teardrops, and you get your three heart checklists. The second sheet is the full boxes as well as the scallop labels. I just love the pattern she chooses. She does a lot of florals, which is exactly what I like. And then you also get your ombre heart checklist and the stitched labels. Then you get some half boxes, some more labels, some round icons, and then some sidebar stickers. You get your headers, little things, weekend banner, and then these tiny little hexagons and round icon stickers here. So like I said, the rest of the form the kits are all formatted the same. And I know I mention it in every video, but this is another shop that has very, very cheap stickers, but also really great quality. Like I'm always really happy with the quality of these stickers. The cut lines are perfect. I think the color comes off really nicely. She does only offer matte. So I know some people really like glossy, but honestly, matte stickers are easier to work with. And I still think these colors come off beautifully. Like on camera, like even on camera, which my camera I feel like tends to maybe make the colors look a little bit duller than they actually are. But looking in the viewfinder, even on camera, these colors are coming off gorgeously. So I do always talk about her prices because on Fridays she does these $5 Fab Fridays where she has four new releases and each kit is five sheets of stickers. But yeah, look at the color on this, like it's gorgeous. Anyway, back on track. Each kit is five sheets of stickers and it's $5. So it's just such a great deal and I just can't resist buying when it's such a great deal and I know I already like the quality. So that's why I purchase from her pretty often. Um, if you don't like these full kits, she does also do $2 Tuesdays where she'll have her two page sheets 
for two dollars so again it still comes out to a dollar a page which is still incredible so i think this and planet southern are probably the two shops that have the most budget friendly stickers that i've seen on etsy and they're both really really great great quality so that is everything that i've purchased lately um i'm as you can tell really really happy with all my purchases like all of these shops i think are great and i'm really excited to use these stickers um, I don't even know like how to put these back up here. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the haul. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to let me know. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.